Hi, I'm Arby from FlightSunglasses.com and I'm here to do a review on the Serengeti Velocity Sunglasses. Now these glasses are model 6935. They're a medium to medium large fit. I have a medium size head. They're sort of a sleek, more modern aviator look. They look great on men. They look great on women. I personally wear these when I fly about eight hours a day. I find that this, the clarity and the eye relief you get from Serengeti lenses are just amazing. I sell about three of these for any one of any other type of sunglass to uh, professional aviators. So let's take a closer look at the lenses. First, all Serengeti lenses are photochromic, which means they're light adjusting. They get darker when it's brighter outside or when they're exposed to more UV light and lighter under cloudy or dimmer conditions. For tech geeks out there, the transmittent levels, which is how much light passes through the lens, when they're darker, it only lets about 9% of the light through. When they're lighter colored, it lets about 21% of the light through. Now this particular model, the 6935, they're non-polarized driver's gradient lenses. Uh, first of all, non-polarization in the lenses is critical for aviators, especially in the modern cockpit. Most cockpit windscreens have some polarization in it, and same thing with the digital panels that are in the cockpit, like on the LCDs or the radio heads. Uh, when you take a polarized lens and look through a polarized window, you get sort of a rainbow effect, what's called a Moyer pattern, and it's difficult to see through. When you're looking at the cockpit instruments, you get color distortion or it could actually wash out the light altogether. So that's why non-polarization is critical in the cockpit. Now these are driver's gradient lenses. They highlight red, yellow, and green, hence the name driver's lenses. They also are really good at picking up contrast and detail that you'll find in clouds and terrain or when you're looking for traffic. Very helpful for pilots and drivers. Now if you look carefully, you can see that these are also gradient lenses, which means the bottom half of the lens is just slightly lighter. What that does for you is it pro provides you the optimal light, whether you're looking outside the cockpit where it's brighter, or inside at your manuals or panels where it's dimmer. What I also like about this frame, extremely lightweight. The glass is lightweight mineral glass, which is about 20% lighter than traditional uh, sunglass uh, lenses. They're also extremely uh, scratch resistant. I've flown with guys who've had their Serengetis for over 10 years and the lenses are just in mint condition. They're also hydrooleophobic, which means that they're resistant to fingerprints and water and lint, much easier to keep clean. Looking at the frames, these frames are titanium frames, wire frames, uh, which is great if you have cupped headsets like the Bose or the uh, David Clarks. They have spring hinges, which makes it much better fit on your face. They also have metal thermoplastic nose pads, which you can see here the original ones. Now what I do for my customers is I allow them the option to upgrade to the silicone gel pads, which are also very comfortable but provide a little bit better grip on your nose when you're hot or sweaty. So that's the review for the Serengeti Velocity 6935's non-polarized driver's gradient lenses. If you have any other questions, and you can find other reviews at FlightSunglasses.com, the Serengeti Specialist. Thank you.